for all of you Michael Forthert photographers out there who like to travel, this may be the perfect backpack for you. Sometimes I feel like I done lost it And I don't even really know the cost yet But every time fear is on my mind You remind my soul that I'm free If you guys have been following our channel long enough You probably noticed I personally support the photography communities within the crowdfunding platforms like the Kickstarter and Indiegogo uh, as you might see in some of the videos, I had some good lucks and also some very, very bad ones as well. Uh, I got really frustrated when I received a really bad one because I genuinely believed they were going to be like the next big thing. But as you can see, that thing doesn't always pay out. But this is ex a, a good one actually, otherwise I wouldn't be talking about this right now. And uh, I did use this backpack in my last couple of trips and uh, I'm really, truly amazed about how it is and things like that. So, a little bit of disclaimer though, this isn't a normal photography backpack that you might be thinking about like putting like, all sorts of lenses in there but instead it's actually a travel backpack, a very good one as well, designed with photographers in mind. As a photographer and a keen traveler, I often find it very difficult to uh, have a solution when I'm go traveling. So very often I have to have uh, have a day sack just to carry all my personal belonging, clothes, and everything like that. Plus, you know, the important documents like passport and cash. Then I have to have a separate protective uh, camera bag just yeah for my cameras and lenses and also for easy access as well. So you know you always have to have two things going on when I go travel and uh, it's a nightmare to look after them really. So I thought Instinct's backpack is actually quite cool because it's, it's enough, it's a big enough case to hold all your belongings and also has a separate compartment for your cameras and gears. It, just look at the size of this, this is actually enough to hold you know for me anyway you know about a week worth of uh, the traveling stuff in it you know including all the uh, yeah undies and stuff like that <laughs> when i ordered this bag i did actually order every single option it has including these little cool gadgets here this is a fingerprint lock which is actually pretty cool and it does work so all you need to do just register your fingerprint just like your iphone and uh yeah press it on when the blue light comes on it unlocks it's actually pretty cool here okay right one of the most important compartment in my case of course is the camera bit so i needed to be protective and their camera pouch is actually not bad it's actually very well padded so uh, let me just open it it's more like a lunchbox things to be honest it does have these um, bell loops for you to hook a little strap for you can actually use it as an independent camera case although it doesn't look anything like a billingham so uh, yeah aesthetic wise not really my taste but it works it's functional but internally it's perfectly fine it's, it works as an internal compartment so it has enough space let me just show you quickly you have enough space for this lot here which is what i did for my last travel yeah i have my trusty in one mark ii perfect for traveling because it's weather sealed and everything which is ideal of course you can see the space here if you can fit in one mark ii you can definitely fit the pen f and all the other smaller cameras and no problem and then you have space for this as well, this is 7014 f2.8 Pro, which I use it for almost anything. And then I have the vlogging lens, uh, this is the 12 f2 Prime. And then my trusty environmental portrait lens, also street photography lens, it's the 17mm 1.2 Pro. And if I reverse the hood, there is actually enough space, you can see, to put another pro lens here, all I need to do is just have another dividers. So uh, all in all, you can actually fit, I would say, for small to medium-sized lens, you can fit about four lenses and a body, or you can have two bodies, two lenses, 
uh, yes, it, it's, it's big enough for a lot of Michael Four Third gears, and uh, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. And like I said, it's, the inter material is actually very nice there. One of my complaints would be that it hasn't got enough these uh, dividers. They have two, you can see these two grey ones, this is what they supply, so that's all. They haven't got any others, and I don't think you can even get spares from them. So what I did was, I used my uh, Billingham leftovers, I have a lot of these little ones here, so I can use one of these uh, just to divide them, so you can put basically two lenses on each row, so you can add another one here to put another pro lens. So all in all, you can have one body, four lenses, and remember the size. These are the sizes I'm talking about, so if you have anything larger, so like a 12 to uh, a 100 f4 pro, you can have one long side here with the hood reversed, and uh, I think if you have it long this way, you can actually fit the uh, 40 to 150 f2.8 pro plus another lens here so it's quite versatile this little bag it may not look much but this lunch box is quite square so you can actually fit quite a bit in it so that's perfect that's fine works well with as a camera case like i mentioned uh, yeah it's good i like it and uh, there you go so if you are using slightly bigger system like a sony system you can have one body possibly two lenses maybe just one because uh, they're four film lenses they're just huge and and not very practical. <laughs> Time to switch to Michael Porter. With the camera bits out of the way, let me show the rest of the bag. So yeah, here it is. The rest is more a very, very functional and a very tactile uh, travel case so it does have lots and lots of compartments as well uh, first of all this is a little top bit here let me just open it. it it it's not big but it has enough space to you know for your fast access stuff like uh, I don't know for my case it's the LED lights uh, some tissues business cards uh, mounting plates and yes yeah, something that I need quite urgently or uh, I need access quickly so this is all from the top and also don't forget that this bit is not secure so like you know you don't want to put anything valuable from the top um, then you have another features here just before I open up this is quite messy afterward uh, if I start opening everything so let me close this back up so let's go to the back first and uh, so it does have a laptop compartment which is actually very big and uh, when I say big because most of the rucksack these days you find on the market is they only fit up to 15 inch of laptops so this however does allow you to fit up to 17 inch which is huge uh, so it has plenty of room so for me I travel with my big iPad that's that's big enough for me already and uh, so that's more than enough for me to reply emails and stuff or do some light processing and it does also have another kind of um, a small pouch for you to put a smaller iPad as well so basically it has enough room for you to put a laptop and an iPad so uh, if it can carry that sort of weight I'm talking about um, so then at the back as well there's another section here let me just flick this open so you have this hidden zip pocket here which is perfect for your secure document which I've also mentioned is very critical when I when you go traveling you want somewhere safe so people can't pick on you and uh, so this is it it also comes with this this is um, a passport pouch uh, it's RFID protected so that means that if you've got one of the smart passport which contains all your information in it your touch uh, uh, credit card so you can all store in there and get protected from anyone who wants to scan your details wirelessly so everything's cool you can see it's RFID safe so actually very very handy there I do use it for my passport it's actually very cool and then uh, put it back in here zip it up nice and tidy and you can't you know people can't get into it now let's look at the side of the bag as well so first of all you have this little bit here supposedly for your shoes but um, I don't have any shoe that would fit into this little pocket here I think it's only big enough for flip-flops and uh, it's, it's quite nice to have this kind of separate compartment here maybe you can store something that you want to be yeah hidden uh, but for me um, I don't use it and just because it's, it's a little bit too small for any of my shoes and then uh, but this bit is cool right okay let me talk about a little bit about this this have a lightning bolt signal symbol here which means power so it does have a USB connection um, when I first got it I thought it's you know it's cool you can charge your your thing but then when I plug the cable in it doesn't charge so uh, 
I was a bit one, uh, worried that it, it was a faulty item, but then I realized <laughs> it doesn't come with a power bank. So what it does, I have to open this for you to see, is that you have to connect your own power bank. And in many ways, I think it's better because you can choose your pa uh, favorite power banks, you know, size-wise, weight-wise, and everything like that, and then you just connect it. So what it does is a direct transfer. So in here, I used to store all my power stuff, like including spare battery for my cameras. And, uh, but you can see, it basically has this cable here to connect to the power bank. And once it's connected, now you can use the external connector. You can close this bit if you want and plug it here. Yeah, if I can get it connected, there we go. And charge your phone, there we go. All nice and done. It's time to look inside. All right. There we go. Let's unzip this beast to have a look inside. Right. Okay. So there are lots of different configurations you can do. It's actually almost unlimited. Well, not unlimited, but you can configure it in many ways. So first of all, this is the camera bit that I told you about, the little lunch box for the camera kit. And then you have this. This is a pretty cool shirt bag so um, I still have my shirt for my last trip which is actually pretty cool so I'll just open up for you to have a look look nicely folded so nice look at it it does include these as well so I'll give you instruction how to fold a shirt so you can pack it nice and neat and tidy so let's put this aside as you can see I have my gimbal here so yes these days I tend to hold this wing uh, hold these things around London and also when I'm travel so it does come with this one well, not does come with this it also have this option here which is for dry and wet clothes which is actually pretty cool because it's actually waterproof inside let me just show you quickly so yes uh, sorry my socks are still there but yes this bit is all waterproof so yeah it doesn't doesn't get your other thing wet so this is pretty nice then you come to this bit here you have very nice toiletry bag very nice it's actually a very high quality toiletry bag so you can see you got the hook there uh, hook there they can hook up to the uh, the door and they have the transparent bit you can put all your shower gels and stuff like that very neat of course very important this as you can see is it's, it's a power bit so it means that it's an electronic gadget bag it has my wallet in there but then let's put that aside so yeah it does hold all your chargers your leads and even memory cards you have some little space and slots there for your memory card so yes this is it it's actually quite a lot in here so as you can see these things does have velcro so which is good for securing these things together because these back does open all the way out so you prevent it from falling out so pretty good pretty neat so let's put this baby back together now so let's put them back that's how i configure it very neat and tidy very nice very nice and very quick look at that i'm so good at packing this now look at that Bing. see how quickly i can pack this bag genius with all these little pouches I, you know once all those bags are filled you basically just need a few seconds to pack this bag now nice and good and secure with this very very cool lock if it works there you go <laughs> okay there you go so now it's all nice and secure there we go I just mentioned you might think this is the perfect backpack well it is and it isn't there are a couple of things I would like to point out and also hoping that instinct will improve on the next version of the uh, the backpack here first of all is the weight well while this is perfectly constructed the choice of material is top-notch and is very well stitched together but I think it's a little bit on the heavy side because um, it's a heavy gauge uh, ballistic nylon with waterproof coating um, in a normal situations it's okay but 
if it's a backpack with equipment like laptops and cameras it could make the whole thing just super heavy when it's fully loaded so it's not very good when you're walking about all day and then secondly is this little flap here well the idea is it will act as a uh, an access point for your camera equipment so if you put the lunch box that i showed you earlier on the side here you can actually have the flap open and yeah access your gear quickly from the side it's more like a sling bag um, while the idea is good it's not very practical for two reasons one is that the velcro that i showed you earlier with the lunchbox if you open the flap it will cover that so it means that you cannot stick the box uh, the lunchbox in the backpack so uh, that means that the whole thing can slide around you have to configure it in a way sub put something supporting it rather other otherwise the whole thing was just going to slide down and secondly because of that insecurity once you open the thing uh, even if you have something supported in the right position, the camera back, uh, the lunchbox tends to slide out a little bit. So uh, yeah, that's not very secure. It at least makes my heart pump a little bit. So I don't tend to use it. I find that I can access the equipment as quickly on the side from the top actually. So I can actually open it. And also for added security, I can actually use a proper lock here. So which is actually makes it a little bit more secure in that case. And then this shoe thing I mentioned about, I don't use it. This is too small for anything that I have. And also the strap while the strap is very comfortable it doesn't give you too much of um, adjustments so um, yeah you can adjust the normal length here and also have this uh, chest piece here so kind of make it slightly more comfortable for your chest but then uh, it doesn't have the top bit here for adjustment which a lot of pro uh, professional uh, backpack would have just to give you the added security and also comfort when you're doing a long day track and um, then here which I haven't mentioned. This is a feature, it's not a negative though. So you can actually hide all this strap with this little flap here. And uh, in fact, it comes with thing, everything completely covered. So that, there you go. So you can actually cover the whole thing like this very easily. So you can cover all the straps and makes this whole case more like a hand luggage case, and uh, which is actually pretty neat. So once it's all zipped up, so you can actually have it like a normal hand luggage, which is actually pretty nice. And uh, it does have a little pocket here as well for you to slide it underneath the, uh, I mean, on top of the suitcase. So this is quite a versatile bag. So I do think it's a very good travel bag. Yeah. Final thought about the Instinct backpack. Um, what is a very, very good thing to say that is a very good hybrid all-in-one solution, but I'm speaking on my own, or from my own experience, from my own preferences, because obviously it's always difficult to review a bag because everyone has different ideas, different ideals, different like requirements. So it's very hard to satisfy everybody. So you really have to try out to see whatever I showed you, if it's perfect for you, is something that you need, this will be the bag for you. And then, uh, but like anything else, it's always best to try it before you buy. And uh, yeah, so I personally think this is really good travel uh, location photography bag uh, for me, because it's have enough compartments inside which by the way sell separately from the back and uh, or you can get as a kit so you can have certain bits of it like photography base or travel base or business base uh, I'm gonna put the detail and the website down in the des description so you can check them out individually and uh, so it's, it's very nice very nice I think it's worth checking if this is something for you I wholly recommended it Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel by clicking the button there and stay notified by enabling that bell button and get that vibration in your pants so remember to do that and if you like the video click the thumb as well if you dislike the video yeah click the thumb down button twice so until next time i'll see you soon bye Quite big in it, this thing. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me, half of me at least. Today I want to eat. Ah, okay, come on, one, two, three. This is more like a travel bag with photography capability. Photography? Photographer? No. <laughs> it is a travel backpack and a very good one with photography design. Okay. It's a travel backpack with 
the design. I'm traveling about three times already. <laughs> That's really a travel case, really, with a little bit of a camera bit in it. <laughs> what I'm talking about. That could pay, uh, you know, So here's my final thought about the basic, basic instinct. <laughs> I was gonna say that, basic instinct. Why was I gonna say that? Base, this is the basic instinct backpack. It's sexy. It doesn't have the cross leg thing. <laughs>